What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports news. Breaking down the Apex Legends debate thanks to Respawn, guys. They have now responded on the initial story we did cover last week, that being their crown collection. Met with a ton of backlash out there based on overpriced products, having to buy a bunch of Apex packs, anywhere from the range of $150 to $200 in total for just one single skin collection in a game that has zero resale value. Now, people out there were very upset. Finally, though, Respawn has actually responded with their own response, including an apology. I will give them props where props are due. They did apologize. They actually of course made a, a mention as well. They broke their promise that Apex packs uh, in this collection were the only way to get these items. Their promise of course being they wanted their players to have a way to play for items as well and they broke that promise. They admitted to it so I will give them credit for that. Now alongside that with the actual update itself they did change a few things around this crown collection. Has 24 items in total. Uh, beforehand you can only earn 2 through gameplay. Now they will actually rotate 12 that being legendary skin part of the collection through the item shop over the next three weeks or so which you have an opportunity to actually buy those 12 skins still for 1800 apex coins or 18 dollars per skin so you can see why people are still a bit upset by this you can also though play to earn a few more of those items in the collection so again credit where credit is due they took a bit of a step in the right direction although with that response still a ton of backlash because um, the, the way they worded things it was a bit tricky first of all when they said they broke their promise they've done this before being in operation with EA if you guys remember back to Star Wars Battlefront, they, they broke these promises several times before with these giant cash grabs, and then they somehow act surprised that, that people are upset by it, and, and that's what bothers me the most. I will say, though, for Battlefront, it was far more egregious. If you guys don't know, it was pretty much uh, back then they had a paywall behind competitive advantages, so you could actually pay more and be a lot better competitively or casual game modes when it came to Battlefront. So that was way worse than it is here for Apex Legends, but I do understand the backlash of paying 150 bucks plus for a single skin collection with zero resale value outside of the game. Yes, you can expect some people to think that $20 per skin items is is a bit too much. There was though a couple other problems. First of all, if you guys did actually follow our last video, you had to unlock those 24 items or pay for the packs to get those 24 items beforehand, pay a pretty big sum of money to do so, and once you actually unlocked all 24 items, then you could actually have permission to pay more for the heirloom axe. There was no mention of that price, so I think you still have to pay for the additional 25th item after paying to unlock the initial 24, so no mention of that. Even more importantly, you feel bad for all the people who did actually pay for the packs, and now they can actually earn more through playing or you know buy them on the item shop itself so you feel bad for all the people who dished out early and now all of a sudden it's a bit easier to actually earn those collection items but it doesn't stop there I think the main part of this and let me restate guys I think they took a step in the right direction I can only hope with their last statement that they did actually state in the future they'll have more options to actually play to earn items we can only hope they live up to that word and that's a great step in the right direction it's a very minimal step though and that the backlash really comes when you have a loose handed development team take to reddit and try and take on redditors um, if you guys are content creators if you're anywhere on social media you know you will never win the fight against reddit because apparent members of the development team in three separate instances guys they referred to the community of apex legends either as a hats I'm, I'm, i can't say the word it's butt hats if you guys were curious also as dicks and then very lastly the one that i love the most as freeloaders now in three different statements i'll show you guys on screen and you can imagine if you have a loose held development team that is responding like this and also keep in mind this is a very small portion of the development team right I do believe that respawn takes great care of their workers especially compared to that of riot or epic games and I think they're gonna be a lot of them majority of them are going to be great people but as a development team you have to know what your bounds are you have to understand to a certain degree that why there was backlash here it does make a lot of sense and yes you did respond it wasn't the best response though and you're always no matter who you are no matter how perfect your game does seem you will always have haters and back backlash when it comes to these kind of things, especially when you're in cooperation with, with, with EA. It's just going to happen. You cannot take to the forum publicly and not expect to be publicized about this when you pull out the term A-hats, you pull out the term dicks or freeloaders to a community who is based, the Reddit is based off these kind of things. They thrive off these things. And so that is where this ultimate response has completely failed. Because you can say all you want, but if you don't actually do, and then also you have a part of your team actually taking to Reddit and saying these things, it negates all the progress that you just made.
I have not had a developer slash Reddit feud on this channel talked about probably ever, if not in a long time like this one. And it's pretty amazing to see that you have people out there actually thinking they can win these fights. I understand in the heat of the moment you think you can take them on, but now they're all over the Reddit pages and will be for quite some time. And everyone's doing articles and I'm doing a video on it. So I think one last time guys, Apex or Respawn's response, I should say, was a step in the right direction. We hope in the future this actually will help the game and uh, develop it in a way where yes, there are more actual features in the game that can be earned through gameplay and not through your wallet. The original vision that Respawn entered Apex Legends with, let's try and, and re-enter that, that, that part of the scene. As always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy the breakdown of this, uh, this classic EA news. Until next time, guys, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you back here sometime soon, breaking down esports news all day long. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Don't say anything mean on Reddit. I'll see you soon.